Hello everyone, Daria here and welcome to lesson number two of my new Russian language course. Today we're going to talk about Russian pronunciation and also about personal pronouns. Here we go! So I hope you're ready to begin, I hope you got your piece of paper or I hope it's a workbook and you're ready to write. And actually, I want to start with confession. Last week, I was such an idiot. I was so excited that I forgot to write down a group of letters that are the most difficult. So let's pretend that nothing happened and let's begin with them. As they say, uh, how do they say, let's eat the frog from the very beginning and then we go to easy part. Z, C. My personal uh, favorite. I hope we didn't miss anything. Uh, Z is easy to write, funny letter, and you pronounce it as... Wait a second. Pleasure. Nice word. Almost like this one. Pleasure. But it's harder. And I encourage you again, use your imagination, just like I mentioned in the previous le lesson. Let's imagine that this is some super fast racing car when you're maybe in heaven and looking down at it. So just... Oh, I know, I'm so weird sometimes. So, it's a road. And let's imagine this is a car and it makes this noise. Right? So remember this letter. I know it's terrible what I'm doing, but sometimes it helps. Sometimes it helps people who are as weird as I am. Okay, this one is C. C is even easier. C is pronounced as uh, it's. Try it. It's. It's. C. 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 Piece of cake. Then we have ch. 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 Like, for example, church. I don't know why I brought this example. Oh, actually, because it has two ch. Church, church, ch -ch 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 -ch. or maybe cheese, or even better, cheesecake. Ch, ch. Then we have a rather difficult one. It's sh, but the problem is that English sh is still very soft. It's almost like sh, sh, sh. I'm not sure if you can hear the difference, but Russian sh is really hard and I have a special tutorial about how to learn uh, to pronounce this complicated letter. So sh, just like in some word like shut, shut, uh, and uh, sh, sh is almost like sh, just with this little fellow here, sh, sh, and it's almost like soft for example, in the word sheep, sheep, cute little sheep, it's so soft, shh, shh. and foreigners always confuse, oh god, I'll never learn how to do that, foreigners always confuse sh and sh, and I will leave uh, a link to those tutorials on how to pronounce them. And the last one in this group is U. 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 Oh, I don't know, maybe something like in the word bit, bit. So it's not like E, it's harder than E. Bit, E. But still harder than this one. U. Actually, you should just understand the articulation. And again, I will give you a link to my tutorial on how to pronounce U. There are several ways and you will certainly learn it. The easiest one is start 
uh, with E and prepare, it's gonna look really weird, so I, I'm sorry. You start with U and then you smile as wide as you can, as if you just won, I don't know, $10 million. So as wide as you can and st still do that U, okay? I'm terrible today. U See, it's not U, it's not E, it's U. So try again. Here comes the U. I hope you wrote everything down and now I'm gonna get rid of this. Okay, now go into the easy part. To the group of letters that you already have in Latin alphabet. And these are A, K, M, O, T. So Russian A is very simple. It's like English A in words like father, A. So it's not A, it's A. You can open your mouth wide and say A. Then you'll certainly get Russian A, or maybe bar. So that clear A. Ah. Russian K sound is something like a K in the word kangaroo. Hello, Australia. Kangaroo. Is it correct? Jeez, I forgot how to, how to spell words. So kangaroo, or maybe I don't know, what else? Like uh, C in the word cat. So it sound k, k, k. Pretty easy. M, m is like any M, like mother. Or, I don't know, malt. Strange choice. <laughs> Sorry. Then we have a Russian O. O is super easy. It's just O. Really clear. It's not like a, o, m, it's O. O. Like in the word uh, boring. Like you can tell me now, oh, you are so boring. So it's O. Russian O. Very easy. And uh, finally, t, t. This one just seems easy. Actually, it's pretty complicated, but first, let's, I don't know, tome, tome, or the name, Tom, t, t. Here, there is a super easy trick to learn Russian t, r Russian t, actually, once and for all. You see, English speakers put their tongue on the alveolar ridge, and here is the English sound t, t, t. Compare it to Russian t, 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 t. So you hear it's not the same at all. What you can do, I'm going to become terrible right now. These are lips, <laughs> Jeez. Uh, these are teeth, terrible. And here comes your tongue. Ah, looks like some creepy oyster, right? So, English speakers put their tongue here on the alveolar ridge behind their teeth. But when you do Russian to you put your tongue right behind your teeth, touching them. So move, start, you actually can start with English. T, 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 and then you move your tongue forward like this this distance th, th, until you start feeling the front teeth th, th, th. again start with english t, 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 t. slowly moving your tongue forward you will start hearing this hard and perfect russian th, th. Okay, now we're moving to the letters that can be easily confused. M, R, S, 
U, H. I hope they are not confusing to you already because you spent the whole week learning how to write them properly. So now let's learn how to pronounce them. We start with V. V is like a van. V. V. Pretty easy one, right? Ye is more complicated. It's not like English. E. It, it's not. It's like these two together. Yes. Get rid of S and you get this letter. Ye. 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 Okay. Now, n. N. All right. No. Yes, no. N. But again, the same situation as with t. English speakers put their tongue on alveolar ridge behind their teeth. N. 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 Just the same trick. Uh, too bad I got rid of this terrible picture. Move your tongue forward until you touch your front teeth and you will hear Russian. N. Start with English. N, 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 n. So as soon as your tongue touches uh, the, what is it? Back side of the front teeth. That is Russian. N, n. And uh, what's next? R. R. Uh, here I can't even give you just, I don't know, roll your R. R English R, especially American R, R sound. Yes, it's so not the same. And it's not like Spanish R, but the principle is the same. You should roll it there. It's all about a vibration of your tongue there. And here I have a big tutorial on YouTube. I'll put the link to that and even a actually paid course. So if you want to spend $15, you can purchase my course on rolling R. Yes, it's that difficult. People even learn with courses how to do that. So it's rrr. It for some people might be very difficult and takes a lot of time. Then we have uh, s. S is uh, pretty simple, like so, or maybe sad, so sad. S. And uh, u. U. I already told you, like double O in book or I don't know loop hmm. book ooh so ooh these two girls are Russian ooh okay and the last one is h actually there is no equivalent in English Usually we say that it's H, but the problem is that um, English is more about breathing here. So it's ha, oh, hey, hello, hi, how are you? You see, you don't even hear that. If a Russian person s speaks English, you can very often hear hello, hi, how are you? H that clear h. How to learn that? Again, it might be pretty simple if you understand the articulation. Start with k sound, with k. K. I'm sure you can do that. K, k, k. And actually, your tongue stays at the same position. K, k, k. But you stop touching anything with your, with your tongue. You just put it a little bit down, but it stays there. K, k, h, 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 h. And you just start breathing uh, more intensively. K, h, k, h. Okay, I know it's difficult to uh, understand, but if you try several times, I'm sure you'll be able to master it. So again, start with k, 
and then keep your tongue there and just breathe loudly and get your tongue a little bit uh, down, okay? <sighs> so, moving on. And we are moving to another group of sounds. B, G, D, Yo, Z, I, Y, Y. So, B, B is like English B. Again, I uh, wanted to say boring, but I guess maybe I just don't have any imagination. What else? Boring, back, so B. Easy. A uh, G is like game or maybe goal. I hope you remember your goal in learning Russian. G, G. Then we have D. D, D. Oh. Ugly, ugly Russian D I made here. D is, I'm saying English D now, D, 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 Russian D is harder, D, but still, let's make it like dork. <laughs> I don't know, a dome, I don't know, weird, weird words come to my mind. So, same with T, remember, move your tongue from English D until you touch your front teeth and you get Russian D. Actually, remember this rule. If you want to turn English to Russian, move your tongue forward until you touch your teeth. It works with T, D and N and uh, I'm not sure, but there was something else. So D, 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 touching your teeth. D. Okay, now your funny letter with those dots there. Your, your is like yoga. Yoga. Yoga or yogurt. Just like with ye, it's your. Two sounds. Your. Z is like Z in zoo, but a little bit harder because still this one is as if it's a little bit soft. Zoo. Russian is zzz, zoo, zoo, z. Now e. E is like double e in English. E. L. I don't know. E or another creep. I'm so weird today. So double E gives you E. And Y. Y is something like Y in the word boy. Y. Or as in the beginning, if you get rid of this, you get Y. Oga, y ogurt, y. So short, y boy. Okay, I hope you got it. And the last group, l, p, f, e, u, ya. L, p, f, e, u, ya. Write them down. We start with. L. L is just like English, let's say, large. L. But here I have another tutorial about Russian L too. So again, here you almost bite your tongue. You put your tongue between your teeth. L. 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 So your tip is between them. L. L. Watch the tutorial. Then we have P, P, like 
park or pork. The vegans, forgive me. P, p. But the difference is that English p is uh, like breathing again. P, p. Not working with Russian. Russian is short and clear. P, p, p. Don't breathe it. P, p. We don't need that in Russia. F, f. Like fork. Or flee. Uh, again, is it correct? Or is it A here? Oh. So, F, F, F. Then we have E. E is something like uh, this. Let. It's not Ye, but it's, it's harder. E. Or maybe E. Park. This one. E. E. Okay. And you is like universe. I don't know. You. Or like you. 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 And ya. Let's find some nice. I don't know. Yacht. Yacht. Yay! Yacht. Looks, looks like some boat. Okay, yeah, yeah. So now how about a little practice? I give you the word, you read it out loud. If you need time, feel free to pause the video. So... Read it. Da. Da. Remember about your tongue. Is it touching your front teeth? Da. Da. Da means yes. Then let's read this one. Pause the video and try to say it out loud. Нет. Нет. Again, remember that your tongue is touching your front teeth. Нет. Нет. Means no. Then some easy words. Foreign words. Let's read this one. Метро. Метро. Р. Метро. Then what else? How about this one? Pause the video and read it out loud. Oh, wait a second. Такси. Такси. Again, remember that your tongue is touching your front teeth. Т. 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 Not Taxi. Te, te, te. We need th. Taxi. Taxi. Oh, what else? We brought last time restaurant, right? So read this one. Restaurant. Tricky word. Restaurant. Restaurant. Um, any ideas? What else? Let's write this one. So, excuse me. Aeroport. Aeroport. Also, let's try with uh, countries. Why not? And of course, we start with... My E looks disgusting. Russia. 
Россия. Double S here. How about this one? Wonderful country. Far away from here. Pause the video and read it. Again, actually, this is my E. Classical E is like this. So read this one. Brasilia. Brasilia. E. Brasilia. Uh, actually, I will put a link to much more words, so you go to uh, this lesson on my website and you'll be able to practice much more. So, let's move on to the pronunciation rules. And before we get to pronunciation rules, I just realized that we forgot these two fellows. Soft sign and hard sign. I receive so many questions from people, like every day, to my email. What are they? Why do we need them? And it's super easy. It's super easy. This one, I even doubt that you need it uh, in the first year of learning, because it just divides words. If there are several syllables uh, in the word, it divides them into that's it. Soft sign makes uh, the it can make some letter soft. For example, this is hard t, and if you put the soft sign near, it becomes t t. If you put b hard b, it becomes b b. And it's easier when you practice, uh, for example, um, I don't know, bark, bark, and uh, beautiful. Compare these sounds. Beautiful. B, bark, and B, beautiful. It's soft. So, this sign just adds a little bit of softness to Russian letters. And also, again, it can divide, divide letter or divide words. For example, this vyuga, vyuga, it's like two words, vyuga, you don't see vyuga, vyuga, like hugo, you know, v view view in english you usually so show it with this sign vyuga for example v yuga so i'm not sure if you need to dwell on them too much you will understand how they work as soon as you meet them in the words but for now i don't think we need them Okay, now finally to pronunciation. Pronunciation rules. So, number one, remember last time I told you that if you learn all the 33 sounds and letters of the Russian alphabet, you'll be able to read, to read any Russian word. And many people argue about that, but I insist, you'll be able to read anything. But English speakers have this bad, well, bad for Russians, uh, habit to swallow half of uh, the endings, half of the sounds. For example, I'm gonna go something. I'm gonna go learn some Russian. In Russian, you say, I'm going to go and so on. So you pronounce everything. If you want to make some parody on the Russian language, you can say it like I'm going to learn some Russian language today. So in Russian, you read everything. Read everything you see. But here comes 
The second rule, and it's the second most popular question, and I guess you already have that question in your head. And guess what? When I ask you to read some long Russian word, what is your question? How do I know how to read it? I don't know where to put stress. I don't understand. So, where to put stress? And here I want to actually start with um, something else before we get to that. And this is very important. I don't know uh, where to put it so you can understand how important it is. I need you to concentrate all the attention you have here. And I'll write it in red because it's extremely important rule when it comes to learning Russian pronunciation. Read it out loud. Nobody cares. You're surprised, right? But nobody cares if you put the stress in the wrong position. Unfortunately, most students forget about it and they get stuck in the very beginning. For example, I have a couple of students like this in every group. When I ask them to read something, they say, I don't know where to put the, I, I don't know how to read it. I'm not going to read at all. I'm not going to speak before I understand perfectly well where to put stress. And here is the key to your uh, f further learning. Nobody cares. So usually teachers give this example in English. Let's talk about the word photograph, photograph, right? This one is straight. And photography, photography, photography. I think I need a new, new marker. Photography. But tell me honestly, if you're speaking to a foreigner and uh, he says photograph, what a nice photograph it is. Will you be really irritated and say, oh no, you are wrong. You are supposed to say photography. Of course not. Who cares? Oh, not photography. You're supposed to say photograph. I'm, I'm so stupid sometimes. Photograph. Of course not. It was a compliment. You'll be grateful because you understand the meaning. So again, nobody cares. Don't let this uh, confusion, this not understanding to stop you from learning more Russian. Okay? Because here I'm so going to disappoint you, but there are no rules. There are no rules. And if it scares you, go back here and say it again out loud. Nobody cares. So, if there are no rules, you may ask, how on earth are we going to remember how to pronounce words? So, here is the tricky, tricky thing about it. You should just learn how to pronounce words from the very beginning. So, as soon as you find some word, for, for example, the word word, slova, word, you look it up in the dictionary and most online dictionaries have stress. You remember that this is slova. Slova, read it out loud several times until you remember. Slova. So from now on, I encourage you to look up the stress and from the very beginning, every word you see, remember which vowel to stress. But it, again, it's so often happens that people are stuck in this stage of learning because they get disappointed, they get frustrated when they are looking at the word and they can't guess or they guess wrong, it really demotivates people. So, 
I encourage you to compare it with uh, learning how to ride a bicycle, for example. Remember, when we were kids, when we were kids, remember that first time when you tried to, how to uh, ride a bicycle, I remember uh, my, my hands were shaking and I was staring at the ground in front of me and I had no idea how to turn around. I, I didn't know anything. So I was really nervous. I was concentrated. That is like looking up those words in a dictionary. You look up, then you can't guess a word. You, you fall. But remember that feeling when then suddenly you feel that you got that momentum and you're going easily and you can look out outside and enjoy the weather, enjoy views. The same with Russian pronunciation. First, it's super difficult and you really need to concentrate and think about it and stare in the dictionary and write and uh, make mistakes. But then suddenly one morning you will realize that it happens automatically because you practiced with so many words that similar words just, you just pronounce them automatically correctly, automatically right. So it's just like learning any new skill. So imagine that one day it will be super easy to you. So maybe that will be, I don't know, help, helpful when you feel a little bit demotivated. Okay, actually, I have one trick for you. It's yo. Yo is always stressed in Russian. For example, the word yolka. Yolka. It's a fir tree or a Christmas tree. Yolka. Or maybe the verb let's go by dom. By dom. It's e. By dom. By dom. But here the problem is that in, I don't know, 80% of situations, we don't use those dots. We don't use those dots. Imagine, terrible. So now, suddenly, you don't know where to put stress. Maybe it's yilka or maybe it's poidim. Oh, so this trick works only when you see those dots. Another little tip is the ending ich, uich. Almost never stress goes here and here. Usually it goes somewhere here. Like красивый, милый. So i and u very rarely can be stressed. But again, it's just, I, I'm not sure that it's very inspiring. But again, if you are feeling that you are sad right now because you don't know how to uh, read Russian, go here and remember it. I really want you to remember it. Nobody cares. Russian people will be happy to talk to you if you make mistakes in words. They don't, don't care. Don't care. So, I hope you remember this and next time you feel frustrated or you don't want to move forward, you'll remember this and just put away those problems and continue learning. And now we're finally getting to grammar. We are getting to personal pronouns. Pronouns. And let's get it really short. Ya is I. Ya. Repeat after me. Ya. Ya. Ti. Ti means you. Ti. Ti. Then we have on. On means he. 
он, он. She is она, она, она. It is оно, оно, оно. Is she it? Uh, I don't know. Do we need plural today? Do we need plural? Uh, no. We don't need plural today. We had enough. So again, я, ты, он, она, оно. But the only thing I want to add here is в with capital uh, в. Because this one is a respectful way of saying you. Might be confusing for English speakers, but super easy for German, Spanish, and so on. So it's like German Z. V. I have another video about that. Check out the links. Uh, and uh, what? Let's practice. Let's practice. Now let me read them one more time. Yeah, what is it? Ты, он, она, оно, он, она, оно. And last time we learned the construction this is something. Это something. For example, это Remember, кот. Это кот. Это кот. Or это Москва. This is Moscow. Это Москва. So, same you can use with uh, pronouns. Это я. Right now, try it with yourself. Это я. This is me, or this is you. Это ты. Это ты. Okay. Это он. Это она. Это оно. So pause the video and try one more time. Он, она. Оно, я, say it out loud together. So now I want you to make a full sentence. For example, let's choose professions. I guess it's a common subject in the beginning. For example, I am a teacher. I am a teacher. And here comes an important piece of grammar. We don't have the verb to be in Russian. We just say I teach her. Я учитель. Let's write it down. Я учитель. Я учитель. Noticed something else. We don't have those articles. Thank goodness, it was a nightmare for me when I was uh, at school. E, the, no article. What's the difference? I had no idea. So, we don't need any of these in Russian. You just say, I, teacher. Ya учитель. Repeat it for me. Учитель. But probably this word is a little bit difficult. How about this one? Mm. Can you read it out loud? This is good. Доктор. Доктор. And of course it means a doctor. So now you can say Я. Доктор. Я доктор. You are a doctor. Ты доктор. He is a doctor. Actually, I forgot to write down the translation. 
she, it. So now say, I am a doctor. Я доктор. You are a doctor. Ты доктор. Ты доктор. He is a doctor. Он доктор. Она доктор. So pause the video and out loud practice all the personal pronouns with the word доктор. Okay? Let's practice with another word. In же нер. Инженер. Engineer, of course. Now say I am an engineer. Я инженер. You are an engineer. Ты инженер. He is an engineer. She, он инженер. Она инженер. Not so sure about it, but okay. Оно инженер. So, let's practice with other words. The easiest way is to take uh, professions in sports. So, for example, sport... Basketball in Russian is basketball, right? Basketball. And you just add east. Basketballist. It means basketball player. Now you can say, I am a basketball player. Pause the video and try all of them out loud. Again, I want you to speak. Я баскетболист. Ты баскетболист. Он баскетболист. Она баскетболист. Оно баскетболист. Now, I forgot, I got read of the baske basketball player. Баскетболист. Remember this east in the end. And we just replace this root with, uh, I don't know, footballist. Footballist. List. I have problems with E for sure. Footballist. Basketballist. Volleyballist. Volleyball player. Volleyballist. So practice with all of them. Hockeyist. Hockeyist. Okay, pause the video and try all the personal pronouns with these words. And now let's practice a little bit more and uh, let's pick some, I don't know, characters. For example, this is Ivan. This is Ivan. 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 Repeat after me, always. So, Ivan, let's imagine that he is a professor. Professor Ivan. Professor. Professor. Ivan Professor. So, let me ask you several questions. I'm gonna ask you and you say да or no, нет, okay? So, Иван, профессор? Да, Иван, профессор. Иван, баскетболист? Нет, Иван, профессор. Иван инженер? 
нет, Иван профессор, Иван доктор? Нет, Иван профессор. And how you can expand this a little bit? Let's, oh, okay, it was not necessary, but let's finish it. And uh, let's say, we already know how to say this is. Let's say this is Иван. Это Иван, right? We already know how to say that. Иван. This is Иван. Это Иван. Иван is obviously he. He is a male, Иван. Он. So we can say this is Ivan. He is a professor. Это Иван. Он. Профессор. Профессор. Oh, no space for R. Он профессор. Это Иван. Он профессор. Now let's practice a little bit more. Это Мария. Нет. Это Иван. Это Виктор или Иван. Это Иван. Это Иван. Он профессор. Он, не знаю, хоккеист. Нет, он профессор. Let's create uh, another character. A cat. Let's imagine that this is a cat. I don't know. What's his name? Cat Vladimir. Кот Владимир. Let's write down the full sentence. Это кот... Владимир. I hope you are writing it down with me. Владимир. This is a cat, Владимир. But pay attention that in Russian it's Владимир. Это кот Владимир. Uh, он, because in Russian it's obviously again it's a male cat, right? It's not some fluffy. So it's on Vladimir. We know his uh, his sex. Vladimir on cosmonaut. Cosmonaut. I actually have a cosmonaut. I have a lesson about a cosmonaut cat. I'll put a link to that too. So this is a Cosmonaut cat, Vladimir. Это кот Владимир. Он космонавт. So let's practice. Это кот? Да, это кот. Let's write it down. Да, это кот. Это... Это я? Нет, это кот. Нет, это кот. Это кот. Это кот Павел? Нет, это кот Владимир. Он профессор? Нет, он космонавт. Космонавт. Он космонавт. Кот Владимир космонавт. Now let's practice with uh, some girl. Um, strange girl here. But, but okay. Это... I don't know. 
Это Мария. 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 Это Мария. We choose the personal pronoun for she. Она. Она. Who is she? Она. Let's say she's an actress. Она актриса. 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 Это Мария. Она актриса. Это Иван? Нет, это Мария. Это Ольга? Нет, это Мария. Она актриса. Она доктор? Нет, она актриса. Она инженер? Нет, она актриса. Это Мария. Она актриса. So now your homework. Homework. You thought that there would be easy way from here, but no. Homework. Still practice with the construction. This is something. Это something. Look around you. If you see some object that you don't know, look up at the dictionary. But this time, when you're looking up in the dictionary, pay attention to the stress and learn the word with that stress already. Use post-it notes in your apartment. For example, put it on your fridge, on your table, without translation. Only the word, for example, on your table, put the word stall. Stall. And next time you sit down at your table, you say это стол. Out loud. I really want you to get used to speaking Russian from the very beginning. Don't wait until you can make this difficult long sentence with lots of adjectives and adverbs. We don't need that. We are going to speak from the very beginning. And that is enough. Just это стол. It is already a full sentence in Russian. So you are actually already speaking real Russian, real Russian language. Also, now I want you to practice with uh, those pronouns, just like we did with those characters. Create your own characters. Uh, use any names. For example, this is Jenny. She's uh, a doctor. This is, uh, I don't know, John. He is uh, something else. You can use any dictionaries and this construction is Pretty simple. You don't need any more grammar here. So you can make hundreds of those combinations and practice them. I'll be happy if you do it in the comments. If you can create several sentences with these constructions, I'll be super happy. So practice this form. Uh, это Джон. Джон. Он. Он доктор. Окей? Доктор. So, make as many examples as possible. Or you can just say, это она. Somebody. Это она. Она доктор. Why not? Or, это я. Я учитель. Это ты. Ты бан, банкир. Банкир. Bank clerk, right? Bankir. So, just like that, always combine what we already learned with new material. So, I want you to practice with as many examples as possible. And uh, that's it for today. Don't forget to check out the links below this video. And uh, thank you again for st staying with me for so long. I hope it was helpful. Thank you very much and uh, see you next time. Bye-bye.